How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Anthony Taylor here from SME Strategy. I hope you're having an excellent day. Um, I just wanted to share with you a really cool experience um, that I think will help you and your team get more connected uh, through your operations and through what you do in your organization. So uh, before I tell you how, I'll tell you a bit about uh, how I got to that experience. So right now I'm actually in Brooklyn, New York, and I'll be here uh, just visiting and checking stuff out. And uh, in our Airbnb, our neighbor came over yesterday and she's a journalist. And so I was asking her a little bit about, you know, the political situation in the U.S. and, and how that affects her as a journalist. And what she was saying is that with all of the stuff that's happening and the political climate, it, that it actually galvanized all journalists um, around their mission, around their purpose. So purpose basically is like, why do you exist? Why are you put on this planet? And she had said that everybody now um, was uber connected into what they were talking about. There was a lot more connectivity. There was a lot more communication. There was a lot more sharing of best practices and, and how to work together to more effectively accomplish their mission, their, their reason for being. So why I wanted to share that with you today is because in your organization, of course you have your vision, you know, where you want to go in the future, why you want to take it there, but then you have your mission, your purpose, your reason for existing. Why do you show up to work? If it's a little easier if you're a not-for-profit or, a, you know, a mission-based organization because it's very clearly driving the decisions you make. But if in a for-profit organization, your mission, your purpose, your reason for being is equally important and what often gets lost or missed out on is that organizations have created mission statements that are either for marketing purposes or that have a lot of buzzwords like synergy and optimization and best practices and a bunch of words that really don't mean anything practically to people. It, it might, you know, say something to your head, but it doesn't speak to your heart. It doesn't actually motivate you or compel you to uh, be more effective or to focus on the reason why you're there. Um, and the, the whole thing is we're all working towards the same purpose. We're all trying to do the same thing. And it's important to remember that in your organization when you're leading people uh, either in a strategic plan or pretty much just anything in life is, you know, why are you doing it in the first place? Everybody knows the Sy Simon Sinek um, podcast or TED Talk or whatever about the start with why. And the why is super important. Is you know, what is your purpose? What is your mission? What are you out to accomplish? Um, what's important about that is that, you know, there's a lot of different ways to accomplish your mission. Well, one organization might do it one way, another might have a different one, and you can learn from each. But uh, what I want to share with you now is how can you do that? So this is a secret sauce that we use at SME Strategy. We're going to share it with you today to really uh, simplify your mission and simplify your mission statement so that you can share it more effectively with your team and with your people. So first step, who are we? You know, like what is your organization? Who are your people? What are you about? Um, just start brainstorming that. So who are we? What, what, how would people describe us? How would we describe ourselves? Who are we? Next, you say, what do we do? And I've done this with a lot of different organizations and a lot of different things come up about what we do. Some of it is, you know, the very practical stuff. Some of it is the, the outcomes of what you deliver. Some of it is, you know, buzzwords and jargon. Uh, the importance is to keep it really simple um, so that it both talks to the head and speaks to the heart and motivates people. So who are we and what do we do? And then who do we do it for? So who is our customer? Who are the most important people that are affected? Who are our stakeholders? Why do we exist and what are we actually doing to help those people? So who are we? What do we do? And who do we do it for? And then condense those three parts into basically a statement or two on why you exist and how you do it differently than everyone else. And what you'll find is not only creating the mission statement, if you get it simply enough, um, but also communicating that with your whole organization so that everybody has a renewed sense of purpose, has renewed direction, and really knows that if we do this, if we accomplish our mission, then we will be successful in accomplishing our vision. All we need to do is basically move forward why we were created and you'll be successful in getting to the place that you want to go. 
So I hope that helps you galvanize your organization, renew your sense of energy and purpose, uh, and helps your team focus to accomplish your mission. Uh, and uh, I'm excited for you. So thanks so much for listening, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.